What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Road to Ruin a Randomer. Uh, this is the last day, this is going to be called Road to Ruin a Randomer. I'm going to be calling it something else from uh, the next episode. Uh, maybe Road to Glory, maybe Rise to Fame, because I used to call my uh, my series on SA Sports Gaming Rise to Fame. Um, so maybe we'll take it back to the old school and call this the, uh, the Rise to Fame series. Um, um, basically what you're going to be seeing today is me selling a lot of my players uh, the the Italian the well the yeah the Italian Serie A team and the Liga do Brazil team I get rid of and I wanted to make some coins just to really improve the Russian league team and the Premiership team um, mainly because FIFA recently is changed it's it's definitely changed uh, that people can argue about it as much as they like you know contained defending has completely changed transformed the way many people play FIFA. Uh, this isn't a rant about contained defending, it's simply me stating that it has 100% impacted the game dramatically. So these days you see so few uh, montages and so few skill goals and you know that there's like a lot less top five goals of the week as there was last you know for the last installment of FIFA um, and that's simply because of the way that the the, the defending engine is worked now so I've had to obviously adapt my game a lot you know I started off FIFA 12 skilling and it was quite easy because people were new to the game once everyone adjusted it become ridiculously hard uh, and it left me in a position where scoring a skill goal now is a relative rarity for me um, I've literally changed my game style up so much to win games primarily and think about skill after uh, by the way, guys, this guy's team is just unreal. Um, th this was one of the games in FIFA, and you've all had them, and I know you've had them, and if you say you haven't had them, you're lying. This is one of the games in FIFA where FIFA says to you, you will not win this game. No matter what you do, you will not win this game. And that was it for me. Like It was 1-0 up until the 86th minute. I had to go all out attack. Uh, because he was he was winning, but I was dominating the game, and he hit me on the counter attack twice. You'll see the match stats after, guys. I had 12 shots, only two shots on target. My 12 shots were from like six, 10, 12 yards out. Like I missed a couple of open goals. It was just that sort of game where no matter what happened, I wasn't winning, and it's fucking bullshit when it does that. It really annoys me. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, you know, my my game style. It's changed up, and it, it's had to be that way, you know. It just, it just had to be that way, uh, which makes me just ask. I wanted to ask a question of you guys: whether you think, whether how how much you judge con quality content on skill goals? Because obviously, I'm notorious for being a non-skiller skiller. Does that even make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Of course, it makes sense. People know that I'm a skiller. But I'm not a skiller in the terms that I actually do commentaries and don't do montages. So, um, what do you guys? I want to know really what you guys see as quality content from my channel per, per se. Like, you know, we've got the different series that I run, which I I really enjoy doing, and I hope you guys really enjoy watching. Uh, but then we got like things like this Road to Glory. Now, the whole idea usually between a Road to Glory is you start with a shit team, you build up to a good team you win some trophies and you leave it there and kind of stop but I'm so far invested in this like with nearly what nearly 180 games on this account 170 180 games that it's so far beyond the road to glory that I don't know when I'm going to be able to stop and I don't know where I'm going to be able to stop the the thing I love most about this account is that I've done everything from nothing and you've seen me do everything from nothing so I've got you know a couple of great teams I've got a great record I've won tournaments I've got coins in the bank got no contract issues and stuff and you've seen me do that um, and I think from that kind of aspect this is quality content there um, the only thing I like people find with my channel that you don't necessarily see on a lot of other channels is the fact that I show you guys when I lose games you know like the 3-0 loss I just took there you saw that now do you say that's bad content or is that just the way it is I don't know I don't really want to dwell on the subject but I do want you guys to put in the comment section um, how you feel on, on the matter really um, one other thing I, need, I want to apologize for actually is that the video yesterday that I had up the second video 
the audio just went madly out of sync after about 18 in-game minutes. And I don't know why. I've, I watched my video back, like the raw version of it, back on my computer tonight. And it doesn't happen for me, which means it's actually been an error somewhere during the YouTube upload that's caused the audio to do that. Uh, which is really, really frustrating. Um, unfortunately today, guys, like I'm having problems with my new laptop. And I'm going to explain those in a minute because I, hopefully somebody can help me. Um, but unfortunately today, I'm not going to be able to put two FIFA videos up. I'm not going to be able to put two videos up on this channel. Uh, however, I will have another Call of Duty video up on my second channel by around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock rock? No. Um, yeah, I'll have another Call of Duty video up on my second channel and hopefully you guys go and check that out. I'm really enjoying playing Call of Duty at the moment, so the link to my channel will be in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, so one of the problems, yeah, so basically that that was just like a, sorry there's no two videos today. Maybe there will be if I can sort, if one person can, or if several people can help me sort this problem. But the problem I'm having is this, guys. So I bought the gaming edition of the HD PVR to put in at work, and it didn't work with my MacBook Pro because the MacBook Pro is basically too old to support the HD PVR gaming version. Uh, so I went out and bought a new laptop, it's a Samsung, it's got one terabyte hard drive, eight gigabytes RAM, an i5 processor, it's you know top of the range laptop, it's sweet, so there's no problems there, it's got like the most up to date graphics card, um, and I installed the HD PVR on there, now me being me and being typically stupid is, you know, I'm Mac orientated, so when I get something that is installed only on a PC, I tend to throw it away. So with the HD PVR came a disc that you install Total Media Extreme on onto your laptop. I threw the disc away because I'm like, hey, I've got a Mac, so you know, when I install this onto my Mac, I have ITV, it doesn't require a disc. There's no problem. You know, now I need a disc and I don't have a disc. So I've downloaded Total Media Extreme. Uh, that's probably not really nice for me to say, but you know, I have I have paid for my PVR, so I have I have Total Media Extreme 2. I've updated the drivers. Uh, I've got you know I've tried different wires. I've tried all different methods that people have offered, and still I get an issue where after kind of 10 minutes of recording or just 10 minutes of the uh, capture module being open, the the capture module freezes. It causes Skype to quit. Uh, my computer starts going really laggy for a few minutes and then the, the program quits and then it doesn't pick up my HD PVR and to get it back on I have to restart my laptop, restart the PlayStation, restart the HD PVR and then Total Media Extreme capture module again opens up and it will read it no problem but after 10 minutes of recording it freezes again now I've, I've searched high and wide and far and long and for hours and hours and hours and I've come across so many other people that have had this exact same issue and I've never ever found a solution uh, so I'm wondering if anybody has a solution to my problem <laughs> if you do have a solution to my problem please 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 put it in the, in the comment section because with that if if this problem persists I'm not going to be able to make videos at work because this this laptop you know it's an expensive laptop I, I can't take it back really like I don't know I guess it has a 30 day warranty but um, I don't know, it, it's just a tough one, you know, uh, but this is the last game for the episode, guys, the, the last game in the tournament, I come up, well, it's the second game in the tournament, but I come up against this guy with a, a pretty solid team, not an amazing team, uh, but I want to thank you guys massively for your support recently, my subscriber count is growing humongously quickly right now, um, and that's all because of the great, great support I get from you guys, every time you hit that thumb button, every time you comment, every time you watch my video, um, it puts uh, puts a little bit of a smile on my face, so thank you all for that. And uh, you know, two videos a day is the least I can do for the the kind of brilliant subscriber base that I have. I really appreciate all you guys as subscribers. Uh, this is the end of the video now, guys. Though, so if you could hit that like button as usual, it would be amazing, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to leave any help for me in the comment section. I really need it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Repeat that club as often as they possibly can. I thought they were positive.